What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, reports are swirling and surfacing that undefeated three division world champion, reigning WBO welterweight world champion, former junior welterweight undisputed world champion, who is widely considered by many to be the number one best pound for pound fighter in the world, and Terrence Bud Crawford. Terrence Crawford is 38 wins, no losses, no draw, 29 big wins by way of knockout. He is uh, 34 years of age, five foot eight with a 74 inch arm reach. Well, we know Terrence Crawford after his latest fight, which was November 20th against two-time welterweight world champion, superstar boxer, Showtime Sean Porter, in which Terrence Crawford, he did something that has never been done before. Uh, Terrence Crawford, he stopped Sean Porter, okay? Uh, he stopped Sean Porter, you know, um, and nobody's ever stopped Sean Porter. Now, Sean Porter has been dropped before. Uh, Sean Porter has never been stopped. And he stopped Sean Porter in the 10th round of the fight, dropping him two times and stopping him. Uh, but more importantly, after the fight, everybody wanted to know uh, what was next for Terrence Crawford uh, after he, you know, uh, beat Sean Porter because the holdup in Terrence Crawford's career seemed to be uh, his promoter, legendary promoter, top rank CEO and promoter, Bob Arum, ESPN and top rank, okay? Uh, but uh, Terrence Crawford immediately after the fight, post-fight press conference, he let it be known that he was parting ways with uh, Bob Arum because Bob Arum simply couldn't uh, secure the big fights, okay? Uh, and so Terrence Crawford, he let it know he's going on his own. Uh, Terrence Crawford is also suing top rank Bob Arum and ESPN, okay? Terrence Crawford, you know, uh, cited that they mishandled his career. They didn't uh, secure the big fights that uh, they promised him. Uh, they owed him money on the back end, you know. Uh, and so, you know, Terrence Crawford is taking Bob Arum top rank to court, okay? Uh, uh, and so, with that said, there was reports that Terrence Crawford could be signing with MTK Global, uh, MTK Global and uh, Daniel Kinahan. Uh, they advised um, uh, undefeated undisputed junior welterweight world champion british superstar boxer josh taylor you know uh one of many you know um uh, uh they also uh um you know have a, a big hand in the sport of boxing okay uh they manage and advise a lot of fighters so there was reports that terence crawford uh uh could be you know uh, dealing with daniel kinahan mtk global well now as of late we heard reports that terence crawford is may look maybe looking to sign with the PBC Premier Boxer Champions founder and advisor Al Heyman, in which uh, Terence Crawford, you know, um, would be would suit Terence Crawford best because Terence Crawford, the big fights are over with the PBC. Okay, uh, the big fights are with uh, uh, top rank. They're with, um, excuse me, they're with uh, Al Heyman, the founder and advisor. Uh, you got the biggest rival. You know, uh, undefeated, unified, welterweight world champion, superstar boxer who is widely considered by many to be top three best pound for pound boxers in the world. And uh, Earl the True Spence Jr., who's going into a massive unification bout with WBA welterweight world champion, Cuban star boxer, uh, Yadanis Ugas, April 16th, Arlington, Texas, AT&T, Dallas Cowboys Stadium. So three belts to be on the line. Uh, he already faced Sean Porter and, there's, and then is undefeated. I mean, former... Uh, unified welterweight world champion, superstar boxer Keith One Time Thurman, who resides with the PBC as well. Uh, but the reports are now, you know, uh, um, that Terrence Crawford uh, is going to sign a possible two fight deal with PBC that will see him fight. Get this former two division world champion, Puerto Rican superstar boxer Danny Swift Garcia, right? Now, we know. Uh, uh, that Terrence Crawford has been looking to face off against uh, Danny Garcia uh, uh, when they were both at junior welterweight, okay? And uh, that fight didn't happen. So Danny Garcia uh, was talking about uh, uh, moving up in weight, okay? And, uh, uh, you know, now it looks like Danny Garcia is possibly going to stick around to uh, welterweight and challenge Terrence Crawford. That's what the reports are. And then Terrence Crawford can face uh, 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 Errol Spence Jr. at the end of the year, okay? Before the year's up, uh, should Errol Spence Jr. beat uh, um, your Dana Sugis and, and Terrence Crawford beats Danny Garcia, that would be for Undisputed at the end of the year, okay? Uh, now, me personally, now Danny Garcia, he's coming off of a loss to Errol Spence Jr., okay? Um, 
that's the last time we saw Danny Garcia in the ring. That was December 5th of 2019. Okay, uh, 2020, excuse me. Uh, we haven't seen Danny Garcia in the ring since then. Now, Errol Spence, we haven't seen Errol Spence in the ring uh, since then, but Errol Spence has suffered a broken detached retina when he was scheduled to face off against legendary eight division world champion, iconic Filipino superstar boxer, Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao, okay? He suffered a broken detached retina. And prior to that, uh, Errol Spence had, you know, uh, suffered, the, we all know the um, horrific car accident that he suffered, okay? Uh, and so with that said, you know, uh, Errol Spence had a reason uh, to not be uh, 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 in the ring, right? And so um, uh, with that said, Danny Garcia, has no real rhyme or reason why we haven't seen Danny Garcia in the Stay ring, the okay? Uh, so, right. you know, it, it, I, I would much rather see Terrence Crawford face off against Keith Thurman, okay? Uh, at least Keith Thurman, we saw Keith Thurman active. We, you know, it wasn't the most uh, impressive performance on the part of Keith Thurman uh, uh, when he fought in his comeback. Now, Keith Thurman was out the ring for two, for two years as well. Uh, but he came back, he fought Mario Barrios, okay? Uh, when it comes to Danny Garcia, he's been out the ring for over a year, uh, and he's coming off of a loss, and we haven't seen Danny Garcia in the ring. Danny Garcia, 36 wins, three losses, no draw, 21 big wins by way of knockout, 33 uh, years of age, five for eight with a 68 and a half inch armage, okay? So again, the last time we saw him in the ring was December 5th of 2020. Prior to that, uh, it was uh, January, when he fought Ivan Redcash, okay? Uh, so with that said, you know, um, I would much rather see uh, 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 Terrence Crawford face off against Keith Thurman, right? Danny Garcia already has multiple losses. He lost to Errol Spence, he lost to Sean Porter, and he lost to Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman's only blemish on his resume is uh, Keith Thurman, you know, uh, when he lost to Manny Pacquiao back in July of 2019. Uh, but again, Keith Thurman, he beat Danny Garcia, right? And so with that said, you know, uh, I would much rather see Terrence Crawford face off against Keith Thurman heading into a possible showdown with uh, uh, Errol Spence Jr., okay? Um, but I'm not appalled to the fight with Terrence Crawford and uh, uh, um, Danny Garcia. I just think stylistic-wise, it would be a, be a better entertaining and better matchup to see Keith Thurman's style, who only lost once. Uh, he's a pure boxer. Uh, he has power. He has a high ring IQ. He's mobile. Uh, you know, um, when you look at Danny Garcia, Keith Thurman beat Danny Garcia. But when you look at Danny Garcia, he's flat footed. OK, uh, he's predictable. He's a counter puncher, you know, uh, and that style is tailor made for, you know, uh, um, uh, 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 for Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford has the ability to switch from South to orthodox. You know, so. I just think that, you know, uh, um, that it's a much better fight for the fans, you know, uh, namesake wise for Terrence Crawford, Danny Garcia is a good fight. Competitive wise, I think Keith Thurman represents the tougher challenge. I think Keith Thurman is the better fight and Keith Thurman only lost once. And it's still, even though he got dropped in the first round, even though he got uh, hurt in the 10th round, Keith Thurman still weathered the storm and was able to fight to a split decision with Manny Pacquiao, okay? Uh, um, you know, uh, um, Danny Garcia, he lost to, he lost to, uh, uh, um, Danny Garcia lost to Keith Thurman, he lost to Sean Porter, uh, he lost to uh, uh, um, Errol Spence, right? And so with that said, you know, um, I would much rather see I think competitive wise, you know, uh, uh, it's a better fight, you know, uh, for the fans and for uh, Keith Thurman, I mean, for Terrence Crawford and his legacy. I just think that that's a better fight. I just think that that's a better fight stylistically for the fans. I think that, you know, uh, it's gonna be a more challenging fight for Terrence Crawford. It's gonna show us uh, just how much uh, um, versatility and you know adjustments that Terrence Crawford could make facing off against uh, 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 Keith Thurman more so than Danny Garcia. We saw Terrence Crawford in the ring with a guy that's flat-footed, uh, that has power, uh, and we know how that's going to play out, right? Uh, Danny Garcia has 
68 inch arm. So Terrence Crawford is gonna have a six inch arm reach advantage over Danny Garcia. Uh, he's more versatile, he's more fluid. Now again, Danny Garcia does have power, but Danny Garcia sits back and he waits, okay? Uh, Danny Garcia is a fighter uh, uh, that, you know, um, you know, waits is a counter puncher. He does have power, but he's flat footed, he's a counter puncher. And he needs you to be very, very active uh, and stand there and be available. Danny Garcia does better when he's dealing with guys that are flat footed, uh, that stand right in front of him where he could tee off on them. So I would much rather see Keith Thurman and uh, uh, Terrence Crawford, but uh, the reports are that he could face Danny Garcia next and then face uh, Errol Spence at the end of the year. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out. But that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button, drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.